Piyushji, uh, slower capital spending has resulted in moderate economic uh, growth. Uh, you know, central government expenditure in the first half was 15% lower. Uh, you know, what can the government do to, you know, meet the target in the coming, in the coming months? Well, I can share with you that including, and Nitinji will bear me out, including in our cabinet meeting yesterday, the Honorable Prime Minister has urged all the ministers to focus on making sure that we meet our CapEx targets. And uh, he himself is extremely focused to make sure that the economy remains on track. And I, I can share with you just recently, there have been some reports about case studies being done on Pragati, for example. Yes. Prime Minister himself monitors large projects, himself monitors what is the obstruction that is causing CapEx to slow down. And I'm very confident, just as Honorable Nitinji was, that you will see an uptick in investments. Already the third quarter shows the green shoots of greater CapEx spending and uh, uh, investments. You mentioned about the stock market slowing down. I think it's just vacillating. It's not really gone down uh, in a very, very drastic yeah, it's manner. Range bound, yeah. yeah, it's just been a little bit of uh, ups and downs. And we in government believe that we have to stay the course, we have to focus on ease of doing business, we have to focus on a strong uh, fundamental economic uh, uh, situation where all the basic building blocks of the economy are addressed, the rest will follow automatically. Just one or two quick questions. Uh, you've said in our last interaction, you know, in CNBC, you said that Donald Trump is a friend of India. Uh, how do you view his latest threat on punitive tariffs to BRIC countries, of which India is one? No, he did not mention India. Rahul ji, you paper not have to read paper. I don't have to paper. I'm sure, as you all read, that the comment that Mr. Donald Trump had made was on Canada, yes. Mexico and China. And India is very proud that we are one country which is very transparent in its practices, in our business uh, working, we have no hidden subsidies. We do not at all provide any sort of incentive for export, which can distort the export market. And our trade with the U.S. is fairly balanced. We may have a little bit of a surplus on the goods side, but then we spend nearly $20 billion in the students who are studying in various universities in the U.S. Yes. We have a lot of defense purchases from the U.S. We spend very heavily on our technology payments to the U.S. So our partnership with the United States is beyond just a number. It's very, very strategic. It's very deep. And the friendship that Prime Minister Modi shares with uh, President Trump is uh, truly an exceptional friendship, something which is very, very personal at an emotional level. And over the 10 years, we worked with the Obama administration, the Trump administration, the Biden administration, and every single period, the friendship with the U.S. has only got better. And I'm sure the next four years are, again, going to be a great time for the U.S.-India partnership. Just one last question. How do you view the attacks on Hindus in Bangladesh and Bangladesh's friendly relationship now with Pakistan? Uh, do you think that, you know, do you rule out any punitive economic measures? Well, I strongly condemn what is happening to the Hindus uh, in Bangladesh. I have the confidence that the government there will act on it. We have our foreign secretary visiting Bangladesh on Monday to meet uh, Mr. Mohammed Yunus and other senior leaders. Uh, the government of India has taken it up at every level very, very strongly. And all such efforts to attack people on the basis of caste or, or religion is truly condemnable. And um, I do believe any effort also to derail the Indian economy and the India growth story sometimes led by uh, elements outside the country, about which we have recently also spoken about in Parliament. Yes. Efforts like the OCCRP coming out with reports hitting at the basic fabric of India, hitting at India's secular fabric, hitting at India's growth, 
coming out in a timed fashion, every time to coincide with the parliament session, such efforts often funded by vested interests inimical to India's uh, growth story and growing importance, and very often also fueled by people from India, is extremely sad. I think when it comes to India, when it comes to Bharat, 140 crore Indians should stand united for the good of our people. It's uh, unfortunate that so many years after history in the past, we had Jechans once upon a time causing loss to the country. Sadly, we continue to have Jechans. Amit Shah missed even today. Piyushji, thank you so much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to the minister. Thank you, sir.